Hey guys, this is Freiburg from DigCSGO, and today we're watching my top 3 highlights, me explaining why they are my top 3 highlights and uh, why they were so important to me. So yeah, let's go directly into it. Alright, the number 3 highlight of my career so far is when I used my C set 75 against Cloud9. This was during the ESL Cologne 2014 Major. This was the quarterfinal. It went to all three maps, so this is the third map. And uh, we had just lost the pistol round, so we four spots into the, well, 17th round in the game. Yeah, I'm gonna deny the bomb planter, so let's uh, have a look and see how it uh, plays out. Positioning wise, I rotated from the B site and I moved towards A site. I choose my spot uh, close to cannons. I know I've been using it a lot and I see the bomb carrier running uh, past me. He's pretty far away, which makes me not feeling that I wanna shoot him straight away with a C set on, on medium long range. And I also hear step, footsteps on the left. Uh, eventually I just let him pass. I see that the, the time is low and basically all I'm focused at is trying to just deny the bomb plant because I know it's only well, 10 seconds left when he's uh, crossing towards site. So if I can kill the bomb carrier, we might win the round by time. And uh, yeah, that's what I did. Even though CZ wasn't my favorite weapon uh, back then, I used it because it was very strong back in 2014. Yeah, I, I was more of a 5.7 user and I, I nearly missed the kill on the guy. I had to shoot a few bullets, then take a few steps and then finish him off. But uh, eventually I got him and uh, it's just one of those rounds. Like it's not a flashy play in terms of getting, you know, five one shots or whatever. But it's more of a play where I try to be as cool as possible. Try not to just shoot the first guy I see and... Uh, Try to play it smart and uh, I'm happy that it paid off and uh, it's one of my personal um, top three highlights of my career. By winning this round meant that we didn't have to do a full eco next round and we moved on to win the game. It was 16-14 so it was a very close game and um, we might have won the game without it but I think this round helped out a lot uh, winning that match and uh, we then moved on to win the whole tournament in ESL Cologne 2014. Backstab here, it's not over yet. Nothing will pick up one more, and I don't think NIP can actually seal this round. It looked so good. Just a few seconds left here. Seven, six left. Freiburg goes for the kill. He's gonna pick it up. If just exists, survives, he's gonna win the round. There's no time. Oh my god, Freiburg, are you kidding me? They win the round because of it. That is brilliant play by Freiburg. That was in that that's spawn 1.6 style. The next clip is my four kill against Hellraisers on Dust 2. This was during the uh, DreamHack Summer 2014 and uh, we had had a really strong CT side. I think we were up 11-4 and uh, we had a big lead coming into the second half as well. But then eventually they started to get rolling and um, we had problems closing off the game. And uh, by making this play we eventually then won the match and moved on to the grand final. But the play itself, uh, it was, a, as I said, a 4 kill. I was gonna go uh, up short alone. My teammates were gonna flash me up and then be split. So I think this represents me a lot as a player as well. I'm the guy who's being you know, sent up to, to do something, create space for my team. And uh, here I managed to do so. I get flashed up. I see the first guy behind stairs. He's fully flashed by the flashbang. The opper missed his shot against me and I know that I can now kill the guy behind the stairs uh, first before the op will probably repeat me, which he did. And uh, killing both, moving on, I see the third guy down CT. I get that kill. I have A site all open. Now I should have asked my teammates to probably rotate towards A site and just take the site and play the round cool, but I don't know why. But eventually I just drop down CT after I get the third kill and. Happily, or luckily, I get a fourth, which pretty much seals the round, I think, where he has a 1-on-3 one or 1-on-4, um, the last guy. So, we, we win the round, and uh, it ends up being a 16-13. The score was 15-13 when I did the play, and uh, 
Is this the play that I think, as I said before, represents me a lot as a player? I don't fear going somewhere alone, even though I might, might face up um, against many players. And uh, I think, uh, as I said, this was one of the most successful <laughs> entries, probably, that I've done. Just clearing the whole A site and then eventually getting a fourth as well. So, as I said, we moved on. This was the semi final. We then moved on to play Navi in the grand final. And then we also managed to win uh, the grand final, which made us win DreamHack Summer 2014. We'll be able to afford whatever for the last round, and this is going to be really crucial now what happens here on Catwalk. Oh, there's Freiburg. Freiburg! Both kills! Adrian comes in, and Freiburg with three! This is it! He gets the spray! Freiburg, they finally shut him down, but it's a one on three! Fantastic play! The entry fragger at his best! My biggest play in my career is gonna be the ace which I did against Fnatic in the ESL Cologne uh, Grand Final. It was the major and uh, we were down 5-1. I think we had a pretty slow start into the game. We couldn't really get into the T side and start getting some rounds. But um, winning this round, I think we, I got the whole team motivated up. And um, after that, I saw Get Right clutching, and we started getting rounds after rounds, which eventually led that we won the final and we won the major. Um, so it, it's definitely a really important round a game as well um, to win. So that's why I picked it as my number one. Moving into the play, I I am far a banana on Inferno, which I I'm known for. <laughs> And uh, I, I trade exist. He got he gets killed by the first guy behind car, and then eventually moving forward, trying to get the other guy um, before he has time to react. I get crims. I am now really low HP, but eventually I'm able to finish off uh, Olaf as well. Uh, so I get third three kills, which op opens up banana. I know my teammates are towards A. So he's, they're telling me to just chill, like we're rotating. But then I get my fourth kill as well. And then they're saying, okay, let's just go A. Uh, so I'm okay. I'm on B site alone. I'm 5 HP, but my teammates are going towards A. So now I have the opportunity to just like go towards A or try to find him for the A's. Um, I can't find him. I am running through all of CT spawn, eventually coming into library. And uh, I think he, I'm pretty sure he's shooting at someone. He's killing forest and then I get a bit of a choke spray but eventually I finish it off and uh, complete the ace and uh, we are now on the board or we got our second round and we start rolling after that. So th this was a really big play for me. Uh, obviously I played great during the 2014 major. I think this was one of the rounds which like once again defines me as a player. I'm always try trying to trade frag exist. Um, entering, uh, trading space and uh, being the first guy in. And it, it is a hard position, but uh, when you get payoffs like this, it's you can see why it's really worth to, to be an aggressive player and open up sites. And uh, I'm super happy that I managed to do a play like this. Um, I'm also happy that we, we won a major because we, we lost the previous two majors uh, in the final. So being able to, to play well and um, make a play like this in a grand final. It's uh, something that I dreamed of uh, ever since I you know, was a kid and trying to be a pro in CS. So it means a lot to me and um, I'm happy about it. Thrown by Nip to try and hold them back. Olafmeister will find the shot on Exist. Freiburg does return, picks off Pronax. He's still here though, and he's going for more. Two big frags. The third man is here, however, and Freiburg has to back off. But Freiburg somehow opens it up single-handedly. All three frags, but the bomb is on the other side. Yeah, but that could be all right. Fnatic are making a huge rotation. Freiburg, all he has to do is stay alive, and it's going to be great. Oh, he picks up a quad kill. He could do even better than staying alive. He gets the kill now. Is it going to be an ace with 5 HP? That's what's on the plate right now for Freiburg. JW, on the other hand, has quite a different menu to chew through here. He's got a one on three with an AWP. He's guessed the right bomb site, but the bomb goes down. So now he not only has to kill three members of NIP, he also has to defuse the bomb. And I'm wondering if it isn't smarter at this point, try and find a way out. But from the depths, Freiburg, dun, 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 like a dun, dun, hungry dun, dun. shark, just inching his way forward here. He wants that ace and that would be absolutely brutal. Fnatic, that could really rock them. Freiburg comes in, he sprays, Freiburg misses and it's the ace! He picks it up single-handedly! Ruins Fnatic! What a play! 
All right, this was my top three highlights uh, from my career, from my perspective. Do you think the same or do you have any other clips? Uh, make sure to comment down below. Also hit the like, subscribe and the bell guys for more videos from Dig CSGO.